What's up guys, it's your boy Damon and welcome back to another New World video. Listen, uh, today I wanted to talk to you guys about how to survive the Great Depression. <laughs> just kidding, I'm just kidding. Uh, I know that there's a lot of servers that the economy on your server is super duper dead. Uh, so I wanted to teach you guys how to navigate that and still come out on top, especially with everything that's been happening. Now for those of you guys who don't know, uh, Amazon recently posted a post. They posted a post or a response to a post that I should say from the forums where they were talking about the economy. Now, TLDR, they basically saying that they're taking steps to ensure that the economy never dies and that it's going to take time for them to sort things out. However, I know a lot of you guys that maybe have read this post, you know, you're probably looking at this and you're like, well, that doesn't really help me, right? Because <laughs> the response was, there's more money being made than there's money being removed. Right. So that's something that we have to look at. So what that means is from an economical standpoint that they're still in the green. But for those of you guys who want to read the full article on this, I will post this in the description box and you guys can kind of read this on your own. Now, what this article does not tell you how to do is how to survive when all your chips are down. I've been talking to a number of people in the stream that have been telling me that most of the stuff on their sell server is selling for point zero one. That means one penny. And they don't know what to do because they're unable to make money. So, listen. I'm about to teach you guys how to make money right now on your dead server today. We're going to solve all your problems. So just send me a hug. Name your first child after me. And we'll call it even. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. So anyway, guys. Let's go ahead and get into this. As you guys know, server transfers are currently locked. But that creates a tremendous opportunity for you, especially if you're on a dying server. Meaning that you probably have 400 to 500 players or less on your server and things are dwindling. It doesn't help that a lot of people on your server probably transfer to a different server, leaving you kind of without your friends and any way to make cash. However, there are still people scrounging trying to make as much money as they can before they leave, which creates a unique situation for you. So the biggest thing that you guys got to look at is how can you make the best of the situation? How can you turn shit into sugar, lemons into lemonade, vinegar into water? All right. So the first thing that you're going to do when addressing the situation is you need to create a new character. OK, why do you need to create a new character? Because this new character is going to be a placeholder on the server that you plan on transferring to. The purpose of this character is to get information. This character you're not going to keep. You're not going to use it for anything else. You're not going to level this character to 60 or anything crazy like that. You're just going to get this character high enough in order to get through the quest and have access to the trading post. The reason why this is important is so you can get a better idea of what the items and merchandise is selling for on the server that you're thinking about transferring to. So you already understand that there are certain key items that people are looking for, certain key materials that people don't want to farm, so on and so forth. And your job here is to identify those items that are at a mass inflation. So all the inflation is, is just, you know, basically just these prices are selling for a lot more on the other server you're thinking about going to than the server that you're currently on. So for my people out there that are like, oh man, you know, all of the ore and everything on the server is only selling for one cent and I don't know what to do with my life. So what you do is, for example, is you look at the iron ore and say, okay, iron ore is selling for 0.18 on my server. Or let's say for your server it's 0.01. Okay, but let's say the server you're going to is selling for 0.18 or 0.36 or 0.50. It's an insane uptick on the amount of resources that you can sell by gathering them from your current server, which is currently dead or dying, and then using them as leverage once you get to the new server. Using this as leverage can put yourself in a very strong financial standpoint in terms of just overall gear, and not to mention, it could also help you prep for future content. So case in point, runic leather is one of the most valuable things on the server right now. Why? It's because you need a crap ton of this in order to craft your legendary armor requirements. Now, fortunately, on dying servers, people start to get desperate and they're trying to sell their goods for pretty much anything. So if you guys understand that currently on our server, 
Runic leather is selling from 350 to 1,000 gold. We just had runic leather that was available earlier before this one was listed, and this one seems like this guy didn't really know how much to sell this for, so we just threw it up for 350. But right before this order was up, literally about an hour and a half ago, it was selling for 500 to 1,000 gold, and all of those orders are cleared. They're gone. So what I'm saying to you is if you have opportunities on your server where let's say runic leather, void bent ore, void, void bent ingots, literally anything that's going to help players get further in their progression that's cheaper on your server than the server that you're going to, which you will have the intel because you created a new character to scout and get all that information for yourself can make things very interesting. And chances are if you're on a dying server, you don't really have anything that's tying you to the server. Not to mention that your server is most likely going to get merged anyway once all the server transfers and all that stuff is done. So it wouldn't make sense for you to sit around and wait for to see what happens because of the fact that once the merge happens, you can't take advantage of the economical differences between the two servers. So again, if you're on a server where everything is selling dirt cheap and you know you're not going to be there for a long period of time, you might as well take the preemptive move, farm the gold, get the resources and stuff, take advantage of the fact that all of the farming zones are wide open for you, create the resources, level up your skills, get the materials that people will need specifically for like void bent armor and high level recipes and or just overall goods and resources that you know people will buy and then set yourself up to win. So as soon as they do open transfers back up, you're ready to go. Setting yourself up to win a new world and or life is all about perspective. So how you look at it will directly determine the amount of success you will or won't have based on your current situation. So if you're seeing this as, oh, my server's dead, there's nothing I can do, life sucks, then there's a lot of money that you'll be missing out on in terms of coin. But if you see this as an opportunity to make a killing before your server is merged, so you can take a little bit of preemptive action, you can leave yourself in a much better position than you're currently in on your dead server by utilizing the resources that you're taking with you to your new server. So again, guys, quick hash, create a new character, Get all the information you can, delete the character if, if it's a server that's you know not as economically prosperous, and keep scouting servers until you find the one that's gonna work for you. Once you have that done, gather your items and materials, level up, obviously as fast as you can because we're on a limited time scale here. Uh, we don't know how fast they're going to be upgrading and changing things, and then <laughs> put all that stuff on the market uh, that you can so you guys can make as much coin as you can once you transfer. So with that being said, guys, that's all I wanted to cover today. Hopefully the advice and stuff that I was able to share with you guys uh, will be able to help you guys in the future so you guys can get the stuff that you need to be set up to win. But that being said, guys, thank you guys so much for tuning in. As always, it's your boy, Damone, and we will see you guys in the next video. Peace.